Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at how to use PDNet on Linux. If you've ever tried to use PDNet on Linux before, then you'd know that the developers of PDNet never made a Linux client like they did with Mac OS and Windows. But PDNet can be used without the PDNet client and function without any issues. It just requires a little bit of manual configuration during the initial setup. First, enable the Wi-Fi Direct Hotspot in PDANet. Then connect to the network and it will look like you're connected to the internet, but if you try to update your system, you might find out that you don't have internet access. This is because PDANet uses a proxy, and right now Linux isn't aware of it. The first application you'll want to configure is your terminal emulator. Simply type in export https underscore proxy equals 192.168.49.1 colon 8000 and you'll be able to access the internet. That being said, there is a configuration change that you need to add to your sudoers file. To edit this file, enter the command sudo by sudo and unless you want to use VI, I would suggest setting the editor variable to your preferred editor. Near the bottom of the file, add the following line. Defaults, env underscore keep, plus equals https underscore proxy. This tells sudo to preserve that variable, and if this line is missing, anything requiring root access will not work. If you're using a full desktop environment, then you can configure the rest of your applications by setting the system proxy settings. The host address is 192.168.49.1 and the port is 8000. If you're using a standalone window manager, then you'll have to configure this proxy for each of your applications individually. Keep in mind that some graphical applications will require manual configuration even if you're using a full desktop environment. A good example would be a web browser like Firefox. To get it working with PDANet, enter the settings page and scroll to the bottom. In the network settings, click the button labeled settings. Enable the manual configuration option and enter the proxy information for the HTTP and HTTPS proxies. So there are the basics of setting up PDNet and Linux, and now it can be used just like any other Wi-Fi network.